Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyIT's video on how to burn an ISO file on a Windows PC. So I've had a few people from the 123myit.com website ask me how do they burn this Windows Blue Preview ISO file. They have problems burning the file because they actually burn this file directly to uh, a DVD. They don't actually extract all the files and, and burn it and make it a, a bootable DVD. So I'm going to show you how to actually uh, uh, use a program called Image Burn on Windows which will burn this file and a few other bits and pieces as well. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll need to do is go to the 123MyIT website and click on the downloads link at the top there and then below that you'll have this program here called Image Burn so you can download that one and install it. Uh, I should already have it installed anyway so probably don't need to download that so I'll just cancel that for the time being all right so uh, once you've downloaded that then you can also if you wanted to you can also go down to where it's got Windows blue preview downloads and you can download either the 64-bit version or the 32-bit the version um, and that's this file here I've already downloaded it so I have it there Okay, so once you start up Image Burn, so you could, um, here's the program here, but I'll just show you how to s start that up again. Cancel that install, we don't need that. And we just go Image Burn, you can find it, or it'll be in your program files once you install it. If you want to write file to a disk, you click on this one here. All right, then you select your file up the top here, so I want to go and select the Windows Blue ISO file. Okay, and then you pop in your DVD. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, and once your DVD's uh, booted up or, or, or detected, you'll have this highlighted there and you can just go right, okay? Um, and then it will burn it to whatever DVD. I've only got one DVD ROM, but in here you can select your DVD ROM. And then it will burn it straight to it and that's as easy as you need to do. Once you have the, um, once the file is burnt, okay, it will actually allow you to boot into it like a normal uh, Windows uh, DVD. I'm just going to pop in a Windows DVD and show you what it looks like once it's burnt. Okay, we'll just go down to our Explorer. And this is what it should look like once it's burnt. Now at the moment, uh, what people are doing, if we right click on that and we go to open, all right, these are all the files that you actually should have if you burn it successfully, okay? Um, if you don't burn it successfully, you will just have this Windows 1 file of this Windows Blue. So um, the good thing about this image burn software is it will actually extract all the, all the software and burn it and make it a bootable DVD, okay? Um, the other great thing about this uh, image burn software as well, if we just close this, and if I just reopen it, image burn. All right, you can actually also uh, create an image file from a disk. Okay, so let's say you've got uh, 100 DVDs there and you want to create, uh, you just want to save them all to a hard drive rather than carrying around all your DVDs. You can actually go create. All right. And it's source, so okay, it's going to read our Windows 8 source and it's going to dump it on our E drive there. Let's just say, let's just change that and we'll change it across to desktop. All right. And we could call it whatever we wanted to. That's just what it names itself straight away. And we just go save. And then we just click on this file here, this icon here, and that will start the, start the process. Okay, so... Basically, it's going to go through now and it's actually going to create an ISO file for us. So if we have a look here, bang, there's our ISO file that's starting to create. You can see it's uh, 3.4 gig, which is it's a win, it's the Windows uh, Blue 64-bit version, not the 32. And that's going to go through and create an ISO file for us. So once that's done, once that goes all the way to complete, bang, then you're done. And now what you can do is you can copy that to a, a hard drive or you can copy it to another PC and then at a later stage you can just burn that to a DVD if you wanted to. Alright guys, so that's it. That's pretty much it. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up 
Don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.